there's another story about a very wonderful teacher. You know, when you travel around, sometimes these wonderful teachers share. They share some of their intimate uh, tests. And uh, it's really, it's, it's almost as if you're the only one that they can speak with. And they let some things off their chest. And they know that you're going to leave and no one will be the wiser. Well, this particular uh, place, this, this woman had been a, a pioneer, a foreign pioneer for many years. And she had a non-Baha'i husband. This non-Baha'i husband was a, was a great intellect, philosopher, uh, just really, really brilliant. Now, they had a large home, and uh, our, our Baha'i was the most loving and detached and long-suffering uh, pioneer one would ever hope to meet. Now, in this large home, her husband truly occupied all the rooms. Between the paintings and the typewriters, uh, he really kind of took over everything. Now, she would never say anything about this. Uh, they'd been married for many years. So I was there, and I looked at her room, and she had her typewriter on a little orange crate, and um, she had a little cot in the corner, or uh, even a hammock strung sometimes. Anyway, one of the things that she shared with me, which I tell you this story because it is an example of the tests that the giants have. How they are so concerned when they break a spiritual law. We were having, we were going to have lunch, and once again, her husband's papers were all over the table, which we would eat on. And she was truly upset about this because every day, there those papers would be, and she would have to clear these papers off. And so she said to me, she said, "Look at this! Look at this! These papers are here." And she said, "I have a confession to make." I said, "Do you know?" The other day, I just didn't clean the papers off. I didn't clear them off, and I went into my room, and I ate my lunch on my lap. She said, isn't that the most terrible thing to do? She said, I feel so guilty. And I looked at her, and I said, my dear friend, I would have poisoned this man 20 years ago. And she looked so surprised. And of course, I'm so terrible. But I couldn't help help it but respond in that comical way. Oh, what memories.